the real reason why American Restoration ended. As the creator of Rick's Restorations, Rick Dale will remain in the hearts of History Channel viewers. Rick and his crew were essentially the pioneers of restoration television shows, supported by his family and a group of extraordinarily talented individuals. The problems the crew encountered included a good quantity of practical jokes, unexpected features, and subtle story twists, just like any popular reality show that seeks to keep its viewers riveted to the screen. Fans tuned in from 2010 to 2016 to see what glorious junk the gang turned into magical treasure. But one day, they were just… gone. So what happened? Why did the show end? And where are Rick Dale and company today? Stay with us until the end of the video to find out more. And let's get started. Before we dish out what happened to American Restoration, let's give you a little background about the show and how it all started. It may come as a surprise to many, but did you know that before there was American Restoration, there was a show called Pawn Stars? The History Channel's Pawn Stars reality television program, which debuted in 2009, featured Rick Harrison, his father, and his son as they ran a pawn shop in Las Vegas, Nevada. Although this initially sounded like a strange premise for a TV show, it actually started a new trend in American interest in antiques. Rick Harrison would frequently speak with his like-minded Las Vegas buddies who were also interested in the fascinating old goods that came into the pawn store during those early seasons. This includes Rick Dale of Rick's Restorations and Danny Coker of Count's Customs, also known as The Count. Soon, Coker had Counting Cars, his own spin-off, and Rick Dale became the star of American Restoration. Early on, there were many crossover episodes, as Harrison would bring trash to Dale for rehabilitation. On the other hand, Harrison's son Corey would ask the Count for assistance in getting the most use out of a vehicle he had bought without his father's consent. The American Pickers team was even included at one point in a massive History Channel vintage items extravaganza. So before we jump to the reason why the show was suddenly cancelled, let's talk about who actually is Rick Dale and what was his role during the show. By all accounts, Rick Dale never portrayed himself as a rising television star and never anticipated becoming one. He established Rick's Restorations as a household enterprise. Kelly Dale, his wife, handled the finances and business matters. Ron, Rick's brother, excelled as a picker, scouring Nevada for some pretty amazing crap that could be turned around and sold. Brett Lee Otterman, Rick's stepson, was probably better at picking than restoring, but he was obviously competent at the blasting methods used to get rid of the rust and old paint. In general, Rick's restoration staff seemed kind of laid back. The bond between Rick and his adolescent son Tyler was at the core of most of the drama on the reality television program. Tyler Dale, by all accounts, had been assisting his father in the restoration business since he was two years old, and he unquestionably displayed extraordinary aptitude as a restorer. Rick was concerned about Tyler's capacity to take over the restoration shop once Rick retired, because he had a more laid-back outlook on work than his father did. So what happened to American Restoration? American Restoration is still a hugely successful reality television program. Over the course of six seasons, Rick Dale and his team made hundreds of people happy by doing anything from restoring vintage soda machines and petrol pumps for collectors to revitalizing a priceless family heirloom. Celebrities like musicians Billy Joel, Sammy Hagar, and Jason Mraz were family members of Rick's Restorations, praising Rick's extraordinary abilities. Additionally, the show portrayed everyone as working hard, even though they occasionally ran into problems when collaborating, with Dale and his brother Ron suffering the most. The show appeared to be going well, and viewers would not have anticipated that the History Channel would abruptly alter course and dismiss Rick and his crew without providing any justification. However, it is exactly what took place. So, it came as quite a shock when the History Channel chose to change the concept of the show and fired Rick along with his cast after the sixth season. When the show returned, the plot was still about restoring items, but there were several stores where the action was taking place rather than just one shop. There were rumors that the change was made because of low ratings and that Rick was not getting along with his clients, but it took two years for the History Channel to renew the show for the seventh season. 
In any event, Dale was not pleased with anything and posted a video of himself thanking his supporters for their support and for watching the performance while he was visibly crying. Dale invited his supporters to visit the American Restoration website and express their complaints about the cast being let go, but his letter also contained a hint of retaliation. Rick's Restorations was replaced in the seventh season by five different companies, each of which had a unique expertise. The cast was also changed. The eighth season of the show has not yet been announced, although some allege the show was a hoax. Dale even had the pleasure of restoring antiques that belonged to famous persons like Jason Mraz and Billy Joel. Therefore, this accusation may not be true. So, what is the Dale family doing today? Since Rick Dale never planned to become a television celebrity, his life off-screen appears to be rather contentedly routine. He continues to write and consult about vintage goods in addition to dabbling in metal sculpture. Rick Dale's net worth is now estimated to be about $2.5 million. It's unlikely that he will take too long to relax, given his extraordinary talents as a restorer and metal artisan. So even though Rick's Restorations is no longer on the air, the Dale family heritage continues in our memories and on repeats. Apart from Rick, if you are wondering where are Tyler Dale and Brettley Otterman from Rick's Restorations, now then, here's what we know. Tyler was Rick's teenage kid from his marriage to Kelly when the show first aired. He started working in the shop with Rick when he was just two years old. Taylor was a little relaxed back and tended to move things along at his own pace, which was contrary to Rick's desire for him to eventually take over the family business. Rick's brother Ron was admired by Tyler, who enjoyed hanging out with him. Later on, he was elevated to the role of shop foreman, which he held until the original cast of the play was replaced. Tyler continues to work in the rebuild and restoration industry. He is active on Instagram and frequently shares intriguing information about his current projects. He has worked on various projects that have considerably helped him and his career, including a 1962 tiny Corvette, a 1950s soda fountain, and a rocket slide. You can follow along with the restoration of a Ford F100, one of his larger undertakings to date, on his social media pages. On the other hand, Rick's stepson from his first marriage is Brettley Otterman. Early on, Brettley took on a lot of the undesirable chores before impressing the audience with his picking skills. He was skilled at both soda and sandblasting. In Las Vegas, Brettley established his own company named Clean Works Blasting. The sustained success of both stepbrothers demonstrates that a cast member's TV job can lead to new chances. Speaking of Cowboy and Kyle Astorga from American Restorations, Rick has said that Cowboy is a cranky person and was one of the two metal polishing guys on the show. Eventually, Cowboy's involvement had grown more by the end of the cast's season run. However, little is known about Cowboy's location as the show's first crew left before it could go off the air. We assume that he has gone to a peaceful country life because he never aspired to be a superstar. Kyle Astorga is also subject to the same. On the program, Cowboy and Kyle were friends who commuted to work together. The situation is comparable to that of the rest of the crew. For the celebrity life, most of them remained silent. So now we know what happened, why the American Restoration Show was cancelled, and what happened to its cast after the show ended. It seems like every cast member is currently focused on other aspects of their lives after leaving the show coming up with different and amazing business ideas and leading a successful life so far. That's all for today. If you are interested in our channel, have a look at this video. Thank you for watching and make sure to subscribe.